Indices, right? I've said already today, and you've heard it before, indices are just an abbreviation. Mathematicians, we love abbreviations because we are lazy, lazy and we want to write less rather than more. So for example, um, one of the operations that you've seen many times already is like five times six. This itself is an abbreviation, right? It's an abbreviation for, among other things, five, plus five, plus five, plus five, plus five, plus five. I can count. Cool. Okay? We don't like writing that thing on the right because it just takes forever. You can say it in a much more condensed form, right? And that's exactly what indices do. Five to the power of six, just like multiplication is an abbreviation of addition, you can think of indices as an abbreviation of multiplication. I should have picked a number smaller than six, but anyway, you get the idea. Okay, now we start with thinking about it this way, but very quickly we run into weird ideas. Like we said before, oh, five to the power of zero, it doesn't really fit the definition that we just developed, which is repeated multiplication. This means you never multiplied it in the first place. But we looked at how we saw, you could sort of like reverse engineer what's going on, and we came up with an answer. We said that's... It's one because to get from five to the power of one to five squared, right? That's five. That's 25. Well, now if you reverse the logic, this is what I showed you yesterday. If you reverse the logic, that gets you to zero. Going up the ladder, you divide by five every time. So that's what gives you one. Okay? And the same way, and you did see this last year, which is why I'm going to go through it relatively quickly. We can come up with a meaning for this. It makes as little sense as multiplying something by itself zero times. What's it mean to multiply something by itself half a time, okay? It's really easy to work out what's going on just by following the logic of what you already know, okay? We established, if you've got two numbers with the same, what's that number again at the bottom called? Base. A base, if you've got them with the same base and you multiply them, then what do you do with the indices? Add. You add them. Wait, what? Right? Does that check out? Now, a half plus a half is just one, so therefore on the right hand side I have five. Five to the power of one. Do you agree? What? Yeah. Wait, what? Wait, so wait, so wait, five, 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 five times five times five. No, it's, no, it's five to the power of one. So five times five. five. Ooh. Are you following with me? No. no. I'll start again. I'll start again. Let's let's look back at a, an example you did before, right? You told me this. Uh, I think this was one of the ones you did. It doesn't matter if it wasn't. Numbers, same base. Different indices, you tell me to add the indices. Yes? A to the power of 4. So over here, it's the same deal. Instead of A's, I've got 5's. Instead of a 3 and a 1, I've got halves. So when I get over here, I add those powers, which are halves. A half plus a half, last I checked, is 1. <laughs> And what, thank you, thank you. I, don't, you, don't you miss being in maths? Now, I'm pretty comfortable that we can all agree that 5 to the power of 1 is 5. Now, here's the thing. 5 to the power of a half, this mystery object, what is it? It's some number that you multiply by itself that gives you 5. Well, I know what that number is. It has a name. We call it, bless you. Thank you. <laughs> That's not what we call it. Uh, we call it the square root of 5, don't we? That's the number that you multiply by itself that gives you 5, by definition. Okay? So if you look at this, and now I'd like you to pick your pens up. If you start in writing at this line here, okay, if you think about 5 to the power of a half, and you're like, I don't know what it means in terms of our original definition, in terms of multiplying over and over again, because there's no over and over again. It's like you don't even get to a full multiplication. It's a half. If you just follow the rules that we've established ourselves, when you multiply with the same base, you add the indices, then this is what emerges. Right? 5 to the power of a half is the square root of 5. Now, 
You can extend this logic with other examples, right? If I changed the power again, so it was still a fraction but a different one. So if I made it, say, 5 to the power of a third. If I multiply this by itself, nothing much interesting happens. But if I multiply it a third time, I'm multiplying numbers. They all have the same base. So what will I do with the indices? I will add them. A third plus a third plus a third gives you one. Again. So whatever 5 to the power of a third is, it's a number. You multiply it by itself three times, and it gives you 5. We have a name for that number. What is it? It's the cube root of 5. Okay. 